Were you or are you still a fan of the movie The Color Purple? I was not when it was released in 1985 because I didn't see it until 1994, my junior year of high school. That one time was the first and last time that I watched that movie, so I can definitely classify myself as not a fan. But that doesn't mean that I can't look up the credits to see who acted in the movie. Oprah Winfrey and Ray Don Chung were both actresses in The Color Purple. They got along beautifully on the set of the movie, but sometime after that, things took a turn for the worse between the two women. And apparently, whatever happened between them was serious enough to cause Ray Don Chong to blast Oprah in a one-sided beef years later. At least from what we could see publicly, the beef was one-sided. And Ray didn't hold back. She attacked Oprah's weight, attractiveness, and skin tone in a really nasty way in 2013, 28 years after the two women had worked together. This is just weird. If you like these videos about your favorite and least favorite and most scandalous celebrities from yesteryear that make the Thai Said What Thai Said channel a time capsule for the culture, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can know every time that I upload one of these videos or every time that I live stream. And comment, I subscribed, in the comment section so that I can say hello to you. Now, on to why you are here. Back in 2013, Oprah Winfrey's former The Color Purple co-star, Ray Don Chang, unloaded on Oprah Winfrey on a radio interview. She claimed that Oprah is a self-centered fat, B-I-T-C-H, who would have been a field, N-word, during the slavery era. Ray Don Chang, mixed race actress whose mother is at least partly black, appeared on Maddie P's Radio Happy Hour and talked about how her personal relationship with Oprah went from really good to really bad back in the 1980s. Ray said that Oprah was lovely to her on the set of The Color Purple back in 1985, but when Ray moved on to her next movie, Commando, according to Ray, that's when Oprah became a total b -ah In that interview, Ray said, quote, I starred in Commando and she just wasn't having me. She's competitive. She didn't like me. She just wasn't having me. End quote. Whether or not Oprah didn't like Ray is debatable because I have never heard Oprah or really anyone in the entertainment industry speak on Ray Don Chong, probably because she hasn't been relevant since 1985. Not to mention the fact that Oprah invited Ray Don Chong to her platform, and by her I mean Oprah because Ray Don Chong did not have a platform of her own. Anyway, she invited Ray Don Chong to her platform for the 25th anniversary of the release of The Color Purple. That was in 2010. But anyway, it is clear that Ray does not like Oprah because she went on for several minutes of the interview ranting on and on about how much she hates Oprah Winfrey and stooped so low, she even took shots at her appearance and invoked slave imagery. Just super cheap shots, totally low blows. One of her quotes, if you look at the way Oprah looks, she looks like 60 years ago, she would have been a housekeeper, luckily. She would not have been a house, inward. She would have been a field, inward. Ray continued the attack for several minutes. Among her other super cheap shots, she's so enormously insecure. If you want to distill Oprah Winfrey down to like her most basic components, she wants to be beautiful. Also, she said, Imagine being Oprah. She has all of the world, all of the power in the world, and she only wants something that is only chemical, purely impossible. And finally, she said, The one thing that's really great about Oprah that you can't take away from her is that she's a great brown noser. Ray concluded the interview with a compliment wrapped in yet another pitiful attack. She said, no matter how vile she is, you kinda gotta go, 
hello, hats off, like you've done an amazing thing. You have actually shifted the DNA of the universe. She shifted the DNA in terms of our thinking of a woman of a certain size and a certain shade. You guys, that is what Ray Don Chong had to say about Oprah Winfrey. You don't have to completely take my word for it. Listen to a couple of clips for yourself. Let's talk about how Oprah treated you like yes. crap instead of the color purple. What? That's what I heard. I heard Did Oprah was a diva, and she treated you like crap on the set of the, the color purple. She didn't treat me like crap at all. She was lovely. It was after when I did Commando and I was starring with uh, Maria Shriver's husband in a movie. That's when she was a total biatch. <laughs> she invited me to come to the show. She invited me to come to her show when I started in Commando, and she just wasn't having me. She's competitive. She didn't like me, and she was just not having me. And they put me in a really um, hotel, and then my son got sick. And at the end of the day, it was just a nightmare. And I ended up being backstage, and she never called me on stage. And it was like, you know what, f- you bitch. <laughs> so Oprah's one of those people. You know what? Tell shock to the world. Oprah's all about Oprah. All I can say is she is amazing. I respect her. I think she's done great things for women of color, women of a certain size. I think she's an icon. But that means she's a good person. On a scale of 1 to 10, on look-wise, where, where do you rate Oprah? I think she's like a 4. The thing that's really great about Oprah that you can't take away from her is that she's a great brown noser. She, she knows, she'll, she'll go into, if you were in a room with her, she will pick the most powerful person and she'll become best friends with them. When we worked with her, the one thing about Oprah, she was that fat chick that was the cheerleader or the wannabe cheerleader in school that was the student council president, that was the best friends with the, with the principal, that was the, you know, the co, you know, the volunteer nurse, the volunteer nurse. She was that fat chick in school that, like, did everything and everybody loved her. That's Oprah. Wow. Love wow. me, love me, love me. A woman of a certain size. Yeah, but the thing is, is like, I have to respect her. You've got to respect her no matter how vile she is, ultimately, because she's all about Oprah and she's boring. But aside from that, you've got to kind of go, hello, hats off. Like, you've done an amazing thing. You have actually shifted the DNA of the universe in terms of thinking of power structure. She took a woman, if you looked at the way she looks, she looks like it in 60 years ago, she would have been a housekeeper, luckily. She would yeah. not have been a house nigger. She would have been a field nigger. Well, let's be really raw here. So the Uh-oh. fact that Oprah Winfrey oh has God. done what she's done, but seriously, she's so she could have got a job Cuba. working for Paul Dean. <laughs> so we have, to get, we have to give her props. Like, no matter how much, like, my personal vibe with her, i got to stop and say, this woman is a miracle, and I respect her, and I say kudos to you, and I don't give, I don't give two cents about the other parts of it because she shifted the DNA in terms of our thinking of a woman of a certain size and a certain shade. In response to the backlash that she got after this became a bit of a story, Ray Don Chong released a response video saying that she meant the N-word as a compliment. And just another little tidbit, Ray Don Chong's father had her back and defended Ray's attacks as compliments. That would be her pot-smoking dad, Tommy Chong of Cheech and Chong fame. Before I go any further, let me know if you agree with Radon Chong or if you think that she got into her dad's stash before she got on that radio interview. Maybe 1985 was a different story, but these days, don't these ladies look pretty even in the attractiveness category? Oprah might even have an edge on Radon Chong at this point. I feel as though Ray has a major chip on her shoulder and she feels entitled to success because she thinks that she is beautiful. I don't like defending people I don't like, and to be honest, I am not a fan of Oprah. That being said, I feel 100% like Ray thinks that her own looks should entitle her to the success and fortune that Oprah has, and that is why she continued to harp on Oprah's looks in that interview. When I looked at Ray Don Chong's IMDb profile, It appeared that Commando was the biggest film in which she ever starred and that her career took a massive dive down from there. I think that is why, as late as 2013, she was taking the delusional stance that Oprah was jealous of her for getting that role opposite Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
I have a feeling that Oprah didn't even audition for that role and therefore would not be jealous of whoever got that part. And I know that people are often uncomfortable with hearing things about colorism, but because Ray Don Chong decided to invoke slave imagery in her rant, I have to outright call her out for her colorist attack by saying that Oprah would have been a field inward rather than a house inward because her reasons for saying that are quite obvious. One does not have to be a history scholar to know that it was very commonplace during the days of chattel slavery to have black slaves divided into two categories, field slaves and house slaves. To put it in a more crass way, as Ray Don Chong did in her interview, field in words and house in words. The field slaves were typically darker in complexion with kinkier textured hair. The house slaves, most often children of white masters and black enslaved women, were usually lighter in complexion and had wavy textured hair because they were biracial. Their proximity to whiteness afforded them better treatment than the field slaves. They usually had better sleeping quarters, better clothes, easier work than field slaves, and sometimes even access to education. Since Ray Don Chong compared Oprah to a field slave, it only stands to reason that she would have compared herself to a house Negro, deserving better treatment than a phenotypically black person because of who her father is, and her appearance being lighter than black people with two black parents. Perhaps someone should let Ray Don Chong know about the Emancipation Proclamation. Ray Don Chong clearly resents the fact that a woman darker than she, who was fully black, got much, 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 much further ahead in the entertainment industry than she did. Even with her family connection and lighter skin and wavy hair and house negro aesthetic, it didn't get her as far as she wanted to go. Does she hate the fact that when we hear the name Oprah, we don't have to hear the name Winfrey to know who is being discussed? Does she hate the fact that when we hear the name Ray, we think of him, 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 or even him, and not her? Anyway, one glance at their IMDb filmographies tells me and anyone with two working eyes that professionally, Ray Don Chong simply cannot stack up to Oprah Winfrey, thus making her attacks appear to be quite pitiful. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Ty Said What Ty Said channel. Please leave a thumbs up and comment so that we can get a discussion going. And share this video on all of your social media, especially your Facebook. That really helps me out a lot. And subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can know when my next video is ready for you. And if you don't like what I'm saying, but you love it, feel free to hit that applaud button just below your video screen there and send me some donations 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 yeah baby see you on the next video if you have a business product service youtube channel or social media account that you would like to promote on my channel email me at 
Taiwan at TaiSaidWhatTaiSaid.com or use the submission form on my website, TaiSaidWhatTaiSaid.com to get rates for advertising on my community tab, my live streams, and or my edited videos, just like this one. 